Hello, hello. All right, Facebook. Let's do it. Hi there, everyone. How are we all today? Welcome to another live Facebook little free mini demo session. Uh, today I, as part of the online show with Picture to Page Crafts, I'm going to do a few little free live demos and having a bit of a play for you. Hello, Naomi. And I thought, I thought that I would have a play with the new Lindy's. I haven't swatched them yet. I haven't really done much more than have a little bit of a, uh, I, about 10 minutes ago, just prepped a background for my artist trading cards that I'm going to send out this month um but other than that i haven't really had much of a play with them so first of all let's talk about what's on special and how you can benefit from this awesomeness this weekend uh we have got some awesome things on special so at nationallymay.com.au you will find 15 percent off distress products so that is distress oxides distress uh, inks distress refills uh, distress paints, distress sprays, uh, some archival inks in there as well. So you'll also get 15% off nationally made products. So something like uh, you'll get your, your collage papers, stamps and stencils are 15% off, plus there's a few other little bits and pieces in that category. And these prices are automatically calculated at the checkout with the discount, so making it easy for you. Vicky Bouton products are also discounted. Patterned paper. So for those of you starting your Christmas projects, um, they are also discounted. Paper rows at 15% and scrap effects at 30%. Sorry about that, I had a quick drink break. Um, all right, so let's crack into some Lindy's. So Lindy's have, re have released 12 new colors in these new shakers. So you've got a couple of ways of purchasing them. You can purchase them as singles on our website. So we now have them available as singles. We also have them available in this set for this new release amount. So I'm just making sure the lids are on before I lay them on their sides. Um, so this set here is it's called the Tea and Crumpet set. So they have got some really awesome names. We have got... Past the Jam Jane, we have Crumpet Crumbs, Pemberley Pride Purple, Darcy in Denim, Dunker Biscuit Blue Green, Pinkies Up Pink, Lizzie's Cup of Tea Teal, Cheerio Cherry, Spill the Tea Teal, Teal, Have a Scone Heather, Butter the Butter the Bread Blue, and lastly, London Summer Sage. So you can see we've got 12 colours. Now what is different about this set is that they have released these really new, fabulous new shakers. So I'm going to just swatch them all and show you what they are all about. Now, first things first, they have got these new little containers. Now these hold the same amount as what the previous ones did, but they have just got uh, these cute little bottles. Um, and they've got a couple of different ways that you can get your product out. So they have got here this, is that showing up on camera, the holes? Yeah, so you've got this shaker bit here. Now the other cool thing is, 
is you can just pop that top off. My nails are a bit long at the moment and I can't do it, but here we go. And you can pop that top off and just scoop straight out of the container as well. So that is fabulous. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do a little swatch of all of these uh, without doing any more than a quick sprinkle and spritz technique and then making up a little pile on the side as well. So I've got a puppy training pad here, which as most of you know, is has been my go-to for years and years for keeping the mess contained. So we have got here, crumpet crumbs. So I'm just going to, I might do a little zoom up. Little zoomy zoom, if you look away, get, there we go. Right, so for those of you who don't, who don't know and you're watching this and going, first, first of all, Natalie, what the hell are magicals, right? So magicals are from Lindy's. They are, Lindy's have been around for over 25 years and most of you know that I am the Australian Ambassador Master Educator for Lindy's. So I've been using their products for a really, really long time. I'm sure at some stage you have all done a class with me using, uh, using Lindy's. So Lindy's Magicals, Magicals are a pigment dye-based powder. So what that means is the pigment means that it's full of colour. The dye means that it has a fantastic permanency to it. And the powder means that we need to activate it to get the magic to happen. So they can be mixed with texture paste. They can mix with lots of things to get so many different effects. They are not recommended to be put into a water spray bottle to make a spray out of. They have a different product for that. If you put them into a water spray bottle, what will generally happen is they will probably clog up your nozzle and make you swear like a truck driver. All right, so let's do this. Now, Karen's just commented she hasn't even cracked open her set yet. No, me neither. So let's do this. So if we've got this new little container with this gorgeous little flippy lid here. So I am just going to give it a shake first because they have been traveling and then I'm just going to tap the color on here. So you can see a little bit's gonna go a really long way. So I might just do the sprinkle and spritz test first. Powder. There's barely any powder on there, so let's activate it. So I've got a water spray bottle here with some fancy Adelaide water in it, and all I'm going to do is put my water spray straight on top, spray, and activate that powder. So to get this colour, which is called cr uh, Crumpet Crumbs, they have to mix lots of colours together. So you can see here that you're getting that yellow come through and there's orange coming through as well. Um, so I'll just do the sprinkle and spritz first for all of them and then I'll come back and do a little bit of colouring with them. Uh, I didn't really think this through. I need some room off on the side here to put my pieces. All right. So you can see that there. So the cardstock that I'm using also depends greatly. This is a watercolour paper. Um, the next one here is Pinkies Up Pink. And I'm just avoiding getting that under my fingernails because I've got a little bit of cut of, of a cut under my um, fingernail at the moment. And every time I try and open something, it hurts. There we go. No, I'm just gonna have to suck it up. There we go. So pinkies up pink. So you can see that powder going on there. Oh, that's nice. So you do have to spray it to get it to, to activate. All right. The more water you add, the more the pigments come together and the more they're going to create a more solid color. So this color is called Cheerio Cherry. 
that's an awful lot of powder, but you know what? Let's just capture it. Oh, that's pretty. Pass the Jam Jane. So this one is a bit of a nod to Jane Austen, I believe. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Have a scone, Heather. Oh, that's really lovely light purple. So this is just using one technique, which is this sprinkle and spritz technique. There are plenty of other ways to use this product. And in a moment, I'll go through some of them and we'll have a bit more of a play. But I just need to do this, this gorgeous sprinkle and spritz all the way through on these. This one is Pemberley Pride Purple. Oh, that's a real beautiful silvery colour too. Now, all of these colours that I'm swatching here at the moment have all got a shimmer to them. So that is what these Fantastic Magicals can do. They have got this shimmer that sits beautifully on top of the paper. Um, I am swatching here London Summer Sage. And wow, look at that blue pop come through. So when all of the pigments are separated, you can see here that they've had to use blue to create this colour. And that is stunning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, Darcy in denim. That's a lot. Let's commit to it. Let's get it in there. Oh, that's nice. And I'll bring these back in a moment to show you once they kind of dry a little and settle because they do look really different. This one is called Dunker Biscuit Blue Green. So this is a, these are really, really easy products to play with. Totally suitable for anyone because they have that permanency to them. If you are going to play with these with kids, I highly recommend doing it supervised. The powders are, oh, that's pretty. The powders have a pigment dye in them. So that means they're going to dye the paper, which is great, except if you spill it on the carpet, it does not come out of the carpet easily. So playing with, playing with it with children, you do need to supervise, all right? Oh, sorry, this one is called Lizzie's Cup of Tea Teal. Oh, pretty. Very nice. Two more to go on the sprinkle and spritz. Spill the tea teal. Teal, teal, teal. There we go. And, oh, okay, favourite. Absolute favourite. And the last one I'm going to swatch is Butter the Bread Blue. Wow. So here we go. We have got 12 brand new colours with Lindy's Gang Magicals. So using this fantastic sprinkle and spritz technique here, they these are looking great. That is stunning. Look at that. Wow. Wow. 
super pretty. Radio. So these, and it's an excellent range of colours as well. So there's something in here to suit absolutely everyone. This one has dried up gorgeous. And you can see, this is a really good example of how Lindy's work. So for example, with this particular colour, which I believe was the sage, to make up this particular shade, they had to use yellow and blue and teal and a little bit of a pink base in there. And all of those come out, all of these colours come out when you are doing the sprinkle and spritz technique. All right, I'm just gonna layer all of these up here. That's really pretty. So you can see that this one has got hot pink in there as well as yellow and a little bit of orange. This is a really lovely soft, almost coral color. Very pretty. Uh, I think this one was, I have to swap, cut, do it again and name them. But this is, I think that really lovely Heather. It's nice purple. And we have got this hot pink, which is gorgeous as well. And finally, that very first one that I did, which is a lovely pale yellow. So they are really, really nice to use. I'm gonna pop them down on the floor next to me. And now I'm going to show you another way of using them. So what we tend to do with, with magicals is we can color a stamped image with them, okay? So let's just say, for example, I've got a stamp here. I have not pre-stamped any, any images. Yes, I should have. What have I been doing for the last couple of hours? Had lunch with my husband. So I've got a Tracy Scott stamp set here. Uh, I do have an acrylic block here. And I have a black archival ink. So I'm going to, which I've just re-inked, um, maybe this guy, oh that's a bit big, oh too bad. Alright, ink this up. And I'm going to go up here. Here. And here. So I'm going to stamp. And then I'm going to colour them in using a few in a minute. So I just wanted to stamp these just to make sure that they're going to be lovely and dry, ready to... That the ink's nice and dry for when I am stamping in a minute. So I'm using black archival ink because I want to ensure that my ink is not going to run. So like I said earlier today, don't use Memento or anything like that because that will, because we're going to be using water in a minute to activate our powder, that's going to run. So I'm just going to colour or stamp a couple of these. And I'm using acrylic block instead of my stamp press. And what have I got there? One, two, three. And I need to do one more. Cleaning off my workspace here. All right, so now I'm going to use them in a slightly different way. I've got a paintbrush handy here somewhere. Somewhere. Here we go. This night. No, no, no. I'm just trying to find the right paintbrush. Bear with me a sec. I have 20 million paintbrushes but can't find the one that I want. 
So here it is. All right, so the new Art by Marlene paintbrush. I've got some water here. I'm going to start with my lightest colour. So this one is the Crumpet Crumbs. So I'm just going to do a little, a little tap onto my paper, onto my background here, and I've just got a wet paintbrush, and I'm going to activate it, and I'm going to mix all of those pigments together to get, whoops, that colour was actually pinkies up pink. So just using my messy mat to to um, to mix the colour on is going to work here. And all I'm going to do is just colour this flower. So I'm just mixing it with this fancy Adelaide water, as I like to call it here. And if I want to make it more intense, I can. I can give it another sprinkle, grab a little bit more water. The more powder that you add, the more the pigment, the brighter the pigment is. So you have much more control over doing this than you would perhaps something else. So that one is the Pinkies Up Pink. Wipe down and let's do... Let's do the, I need to write that next to it, don't I? Pinkies up pink. And this one is going to be Crumpet Crumbs. And then I will put Cheerio. Cherry down the bottom here. So I'm going to put that one aside and go with Crumpet Crumbs. So mixing them, mixing them together with water works an absolute treat. And all I'm doing, as you can see, is just putting a little sprinkle on here. And this is a really lovely soft yellow. The colour is really, really pretty. So to make it more intense, I've got more powder. Yeah, I like that colour. It is lovely and soft. Really pretty. So for those of you just tuning in for the first time, um, thank you for joining. I'm having a little bit, bit of a play at the moment, watching the new Lindy's Gang shakers. And these are the new magical shakers in their new containers. Um, and just activating them with a little bit of water. You'll be able to go back and watch this. Ooh. You'll be able to go back and watch this and watch the beginning where I did the sprinkle and spritz technique. Uh, but this is the, the first time that I've had a play with them. I seem to be severely lacking hours in the day at the moment. Right, that was a lot more powder than I wanted to put down there, but there we go. Let's commit to it. So you can make these colours more intense by adding more powder, but you do need to dissolve the powder. And that's really important. If you don't dissolve the powder, it's just going to dry grainy and it's going to look pretty ordinary. So highly recommend doing that. So there's our first three colours. Pinkies Up Pink, Crumpet Crumbs and Cheerio Cherry. Right, let's choose the next ones and I will write down the colours as uh, before I start. So... We have got Pass the Jam Jane, Pass the Jam Jane, I'll use that one next, uh, closely followed by Have a Scone Heather, So for those of you who love Lindy's like I do, you will know that they absolutely have, they've got just the coolest names 
for their products. This one is Pemberley Pride Purple. Pem B E R L E Y Y Purple. Um, and that was something that was started by Lindy herself. So Lindy, of course, is the founder of Lindy's Stamp Gang. And Lindy is Lindy has since passed away. But Tracy has the owner of Lindy's now has kept the names going that her mum loved, the quirky names. So I've just got just off screen here, just a, a cup of water. Oh, look at that. A cup of water and oh shoot, that's the wrong colour. Okay, that one there is have a scone heather. All right, I'm going to have to go back. So that is have a scone heather. I messed up. Why did nobody point it out? Um, yes. Yeah, so the 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 names of the colours are really quirky and really really clever. So. We, uh, we absolutely love that. We think that they are fantastic names. Um, and for those of you who have seen that, Pemberley Pride, seen that I personally have my own set out that I've designed, they are the words, or what, uh, the words of wisdom set. So I have named all of those um, with words and quirky names in alignment with the way that Lindy's works, so you know, just commit to it. Teal, um, don't overthink it. Uh, what else is there with my set? They've got some great names anyway. All right, there we go. So there is that gorgeous purple from Pemberley Pride Purple. Um, now, this color at the top here, of course, is not going to show true color. Past the jam, Jane. So I'm going to have to swatch that again because that's annoying. So let's just go over the top. Maybe I did do that. Oh, you know. Now it is a different colour. All right, so there we go. We've got that gorgeous past the jam, Jane. Have a scone, Heather. This will teach me if they're not focusing on what I'm doing today. I might have to redo this whole sheet again in a minute. I did do that right in the first place. That's the colour of the Heather there. All right. I'm going to redo this one. Shag that up completely. All right. So, hey there, Sam. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Um... So Sam's not familiar with Lindy's. Oh my gosh, they are awesome. So I'm just going to do that last swatch again and not mess it up. So let's go with Pass the Jam Jane. Yeah, so the Lindy's Magicals are pigment dye-based powders and that's the best way to remember them. Have a scone, Heather, and then Pemberley. Right, so let's just have a little reset here and not mess this up this time. Pass the jam, Jane. Yeah. So, yeah, I do love Lindy's, and like most of you know, I've been using them and been working for them. Um, as their Australian ambassador now for, I'm going to say close to nine, maybe, maybe nine years, I think I've been working with Lindy's. So I think that they are such a clever, clever product. And I've always tried to align myself with companies with not only fantastic work ethic, but that are also really great people. Um, and the team at Lindy's, they have a fantastic international team. Have a scone, Heather. Right. 
Uh, they have a fantastic team of ladies, including the our very own Naomi, who is um, another Australian design team member. So congratulations to you, Naomi, for just joining that team. All right, there we go. So that's better. Now I haven't messed up that swatch. I'm going to put that other one straight in the bin so that I don't mess it up again. And then the last one is that Pemberley Pride Purple. Um, swatching your products is something that is really important when you, when you get something new. Work out what you have purchased. I know, it's a little logical, but if you can work out all the things that you can do with that product, all the ways that you can work them, mix with them, play with it, whether it be a, a stamp or a, a product like this. Um, so, you know, when you're buying, when you're buying a product like Lindy's, can I mix it with paint? Can I mix it with, I'm just going to put these on the floor next to me, hang on. You know, what, how, how can I get excellent value for money out of my product? And that's really important to do that. Otherwise, you're just not going to get good value, are you? All right, let's get into these blues now. Butter the bread blue. Butter the bread blue. Darcy in denim. Spill the tea teal. Spill the tea teal. Right, let's not put those there. Let's do this. All right. Butter the bread blue. So like I was saying a little earlier, a couple of really important things. You can mix them with anything. You've got this really versatile powder. So think about the things that would activate this powder. So you could use water. You could use hand sanitizer to make up like, a, um, like an alcohol ink sort of base. You could use medium such as a gel medium and make up a, a light gel. You could also use a white paint. You can, there's so many really amazing things that you can do. You just need to mix that powder and activate that powder and dissolve that powder with something, okay? I think this is gorgeous, this colour. So these, these little colours that I'm using are available in a set, a set of 12, or you can purchase them as an individual product. We now have the shakers as individual colours available to purchase, just one like this if you wanted to, or you can buy them in a set if you have fear of missing out. Oh my God, can you see that colour? Oh, the shimmer's not really shining at the moment. Oh! Excuse me while I have a moment. Wow. Look at that. So Lindy's were one of the very first um, companies in the world to develop this product. And it's not the same as some of the other products on the market. It is not the same as, um, I'm not going to name names, but what makes this product different to the other brands that have been readily available and some of them you may know from I don't know party plan sort of situation or whatever it might be um, they are a watercolor powder this Lindy's hand hand mix and hand package everything in their business at home in the carport in Washington New York uh, Washington State and they are all made at home. They are not made in China. Lizzie's. Ok, 
cup it tay too. So they are all hand packaged um, right at, like, at home in their family business. Um, and that's really important, I think. London Summer Sage. So being, if it was a watercolour powder, it would have a completely different makeup in the product. And I think that that makes a big difference. Dunk a biscuit. Blue, green. All right. Uh, so, yeah, really, really important to note. It is not a product imported out of China and relabeled. That's not how it works. So that is how I have designed my own colour range with Lindy's, um, whereas I have hand mixed the colours to get the colour that I want. They're not just, you know, picking something off a colour chart and saying, yep, yeah, let's call it that. So I'm really proud to work with this company um, and have for many, many years. So, all right, enough waffling on about that. So that one is the Lizzie's Cup of Tea Teal. London, let's clean that off properly. London Summer Sage. Now this one looked really different when we did the sprinkle and spritz, when all of the little pigments were separated. So bringing them together, let's have a look at the colour. Oh, yeah. It's a real silvery green. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very nice. And then finally, Dunker Biscuit Blue Green. So you see what happens when we bring all of those little pigments together? Oh yeah, that's pretty too. And I've made a very nice little piece of baby wipe. All right, done. Let's have a bit of a look at these little samples that we have here. So. As they're drying, what's happening is the paper is the, the paper is being dyed. The, they're dyeing the paper, these, these magical shakers, right? Um, they've also dyed my fingertips, and that'll still be there when I do the next um, live Facebook. So the other cool thing about this, and when I was teaching around Australia touring, I was common thing that I would say is if you're wearing white and you lean across the table, dip your boobs in it, then it's going to be a permanent addition to your boobs. There's no way around that. When you wash your hair next, those uh, it'll come right off. It won't be an issue at all. Okay. Done and done. I'm just going to heat set them because I want to bring them up to the camera to show you how the shimmer works and how the shimmer is sitting on top and see if I can catch some of the beautiful shimmer on screen. And then I've got a little bit of something, a little bit of here's something I prepared earlier to show you. So these are available on the website. You'll find them in new for August. You will find them under Lindy's Gang um, in our little sidebar as well. Um, Fiona has asked the question, are they safe around cats? I would not have a clue. I don't have a cat. Um, I would not ingest them. I don't see why they wouldn't be safe. They're a, paint, they're a pigment painty powder. Um, I know that when my two bulldogs walked through some on the carpet and trampled it through the house. It was not ideal. Um, common sense prevails. I don't quite know what you would do with a cat and Lindy's and why they wouldn't be safe, but that's 
up to you. All right. So I quite often use these instead of watercolours. I think that they look fantastic. So let's have a look at this first one that I did. Pinkies up pink. Um, right, let's just see if we can catch some of that shimmer. You can see a little bit. It actually has a kind of like a rose gold shimmer to it here. Uh, this one as well has a, a white sort of shimmer to it, this crumpet crumbs. Um, the Cheerio Cherry is also very pretty, has a lovely little shimmer to it, and that sits on top of the paper. Then we come into Past the Jam Jane. That has a little bit a little bit of a blue shimmer to it, and I don't know that it's showing up very well, but it's there. The Haviscon Heather has got a real silver shimmer to it, and, and so does the Pemberley Pride Purple. It has a really lovely shimmer to it. Butter the Bread Blue has a blue shimmer. Darcy in denim, denim has a blue, a silver blue shimmer. And this one down the bottom here, Spill the Tea Teal, has a, a green shimmer to it. Oh, I just, I can't get that shimmer to show on camera. Oh, there it is. Look, you can see it. All right. Lizzie's Cup of Tea Teal has got a green shimmer to it. Um, and these two here, London Summer Sage and Dunker Biscuit, blah, 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 Dunker Biscuit Blue Green is also got a lovely teal shimmer to it as well. All right, I'm just going to go and grab the samples I did a little earlier. So I've created a background for my artist trading card for this month. And this is what I have done here. So this is coming up looking absolutely stunning, actually. The colour, I've used watercolour paper and I've used some heat embossing in my background, which is the script that you can see. And I used a Lindy's powder, a Lindy's embossing powder to do that. And then I used that sprinkle and spritz all over this paper and water activated it so that it created this beautiful shimmery background. All right, so there you go. Let's have a look at some of these now that they've dried. Not dried, nearly dried. We've got some fabulous little colours here that we've had a bit of a play with. So you can do so many really amazing things with Lindy's Magicals um, and the new magical shakers have got this great flip top here uh, that you can then shake straight onto your project. Okay, that's it from me for the moment. I will be back here uh, in just a little over an hour for a for the last live Facebook of the day. I need to kind of work out what I'm going to do now. Uh, what I'm going to do next? Sorry. The, uh, as part of the Picture to Page online craft show this weekend, you can catch um, some fantastic specials over at nataliemay.com.au and you can get a fantastic range of things such as, uh, what have we got on special? We have got All Distress products on special. We've got Natalie May products on special. Vicky Booten. We've got patterned paper, paper rows, and scrap effects on special. Plus, we also have some fantastic guest teachers. And I do believe the guest teacher for our retreat, which is our third guest teacher that we're just announcing, has just been announced. So we are thrilled to bits to have a fantastic teacher coming to teach at our a fantastic creative coming to teach at our retreat in May next year here in Adelaide. And our retreat is in Harndorf in the Adelaide Hills. So make sure that you pop on over to see who the special guest is, um, our last guest teacher, and jump online to book your spot at our retreat because we only have uh, a small handful of spots left. So please do that. 
All right, guys, have a wonderful afternoon and I will be back here in just over an hour.